back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here, as you guys can tell. I am on location in my car, and if you've seen my latest videos, you guys want to guess where I'm headed? Disney World! Woo -woo. We're on our way to the airport right now, and then uh, basically as soon as we land, we're going to scoot off to Epcot. So yeah, come along. Look at, you know, crowds and the wait times and all that stuff. So yeah. Let's check out Disney World. Woo woo! Stay tuned. We're finally here. Delayed flight, all those things, but we're here. We're trying to catch up. All right, we made it to the UK. Frozen crab. Actually eating there later in our trip. But here's a look at the crowds. Not too bad, actually. I mean, it's busy, but it's not packed. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get some quick service dinner over at the Sunshine Seasons Cafe. No, I like their uh, their. Uh... All right, we're in the Land Pavilion where we're gonna eat dinner, and of course we got Garden Grill. With Pluto. He's over there. That's what we're going to eat right there, the season. Let's go. Alright, the seasons recently put their original menu back on the docket, which includes my vegan korma with rice, which is what I'm going to get. But yeah, they've got all sorts of goodies including a kid's menu. So yeah, we're gonna go eat. So it's set up like a cafeteria. You go to your associated uh, dinner or item that you want and you pick it out. So we've got beverage machines over here. We've got a kid's zone right here. So if you've got a kid's meal, this is where you would get your beverage Cookies, apple slices, carrots, applesauce, and various beverages. They've got other stations down there like their pizza station, their stir fry station. We've got dessert right here. This is where I got the vegan mousse. And if you keep going, we've got more beverage. And of course, you bring up over here from a cashier. Pretty great. This is what we got. We got the vegan karma, and then we just got sides of black beans and rice, because that's what my kids like, which of course came with uh, apple juice or water, and then a sides of applesauce or carrots. And then of course we had to get the vegan chocolate mousse dessert. Can't wait to dig into that, baby. And the husband got the salmon platter. Was it good? Yeah, it's very good. Very good. He likes it a lot. So yeah. Okay. We're gonna dig in because we hungry. Alright, so we're pretty much almost done with our meal. I thought I would give you guys some feedback. The vegan karma I've had several times before, but somehow today it just wasn't right. Um, I think the rice just kind of sat around for a while, so the rice was actually crunchy which is not really um, the consistency of rice that I wanted, but I ate it because I'm hungry and I'm trying not to be a complainer, but if I'm gonna nitpick, it would have been the rice. And of course the mousse, OMG, look at this. Look at that. So good, multi layers. So we're gonna go ahead, we bought two mousses, we're gonna share it between the four of us, and then we're gonna go ride Soren and rock out Epcot. But kitties, how was your uh, beans and rice? Good. Thumbs up for the kitties' uh, beans and rice. So yeah, stay tuned for more. Woohoo, Epcot! Moose sharing, moose eating. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you 
discover just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants. We're on the lookout for the cucumber in case we decide we're hungry. Like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been a important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yield to these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Artificial insects All right, here comes the cucumber. Pests, what do you guys think? Like Should I get off the boat and steal a we cucumber? We are reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. Seems a bit obnoxious to have done this. We're growing these crops using our nutrient filters. But there they are, there's the cucumbers. Forever famous. This controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 head of lettuce. lettuce a year in this one small area. Can you see it? Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertical, we can increase yields and better control the When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the undersea compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. <laughs> Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. The smaller aviators don't measure up to the height of the gator on the seat. Just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before bucking. That's what I'm about. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party if you like. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Thanks. Yeah. Have a nice one. All right.
entire flight crew. Thanks for soaring with us. Aww. Just taking a little pit break. Everyone's using the restroom. I just, I love Soren. Who else just loves Soren? I can go on that ride over and over again. I am so not sick of it. Love, love Soren. And I especially love Soren over California, which sometimes they play over at California, but love Soren. So, guys, let me know in the comments do you love Soren as much as I do? Can you like go every single time or several times in one day? Let me know. I just, I love it and I was lucky enough to find soap one time that smells like Soren and now every time I use that soap my mind just instantly goes to Soren and I can't find that soap anymore it's driving me crazy so if you guys use a body wash or something that smells just like Soren let me know put it in the comments because I need to bring some more Soren back to the house but anyway guys yeah, love me some Soren. We're probably gonna head out now, get on the Skyliner and head back to the room because it's kind of getting late. I have to get ready for my Amazon delivery. But yeah, it was, it was a nice late, you know, dinner slash evening at Epcot. Absolutely loved it. So come along for some more fun, guys. But yeah, let me know about Soren. Right, my kids talked me into one more ride. Okay, Henry didn't, Lillian did. with your imagination. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. All aboard. Research shows that smells often trigger the imagination, especially when pleasant, familiar smells come into play. Come into play? <laughs> I'd love to. Segment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll.
at Earth Eats. And he's right there. Make sure that the marinade doesn't cheat that carrot. Isn't he cute? And of course, he's over here at the Disney Impossible, also known as the Impossible Burger Stand, where all the yummies are vegan. Can't wait to try these in a couple of days. Yum, yum. down for maintenance is what we were told so rather than walking to the front of the park we are going to take a friendship boat to Hollywood Studios and then get on a pop century bus at Hollywood Studios so it might not be faster but it's going to save our legs and it's going to be more fun so come along for a friendship It did take quite a bit of time, but it gave us an opportunity to allow the Skyliner to get back up and running. So we are going to go back on the Skyliner, get to our resort, and hopefully be there in time for our Amazon order. Cross your fingers for us. And sleep. And sleep. Good point, Henry. All right, well, we're back in the room just to fill you guys in. We literally got off the Skyliner just in time for Amazon to text me that they were in the lobby. So, you know, I just told them we were on our way, we got our stuff, no big deal. Then we went over to Bellhop to have them deliver our other groceries, and this is what I wanna note. I was told for them to deliver the groceries to our room, they were gonna charge me a $6 delivery fee on top of the fact that I would probably tip. Just a little note ahead of time. I don't know if that's all the time or all resorts, but just something to kind of note. I did ask if I could use their cart. They said yes, but of course they didn't have any available carts. Uh, the bell service guy kind of felt bad. He ended up delivering my groceries for free, and of course I gave him a big fat tip. But otherwise, we have all of our groceries. We are settled in our room. We've got everything unpacked. Everything is good to go. And yeah, for a travel day, I think we're going to call this a success. Airplane was a little rocky, but Magical Express was right there. We went to Epcot. We had dinner. We rode how many rides, guys? Three? Yeah. Three rides. We got all of our groceries. I don't even know what time it is, but we're getting ready for bed. And yeah, it was amazing. What do you guys think? Good first day? Yep. Yeah. Good, good first travel day? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Score. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes, as my son said, it's late. So as no, always, no, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications, like this video, and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Also really want to know what you guys think about Soren or even the Skyliner. But as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina, out. Oh, <laughs>